Hi guys, that's what everyone doing? Good, I hope. Yay, I'm reviewing the next latest release from Zoologist Perfumes. This is Macaque, the monkey. The very gentlemanly monkey by the looks of it. With a robe on, possibly, as well. Always excited to try stuff from this brand. I mean, hugely, I love them. I love, while well, I've said before, I've not personally been a fan of everything they've done. I really appreciate their artistry. Um, and just what they go for really and it's a really good theme because you can just run with it absolutely love it they've already won an award for their fragrance bat which I've reviewed before go and check it out if you want to go and see um, and this one the nose behind this fragrance is actually Sarah from a company called 4160 Tuesdays has anyone heard of them before go and check them out as well I've never um, tried any of their stuff before I'm not going to lie but she's obviously a very talented lady because this is pretty cool I love it so this one is, I think, just about to come out now, if you're watching this mid-October. Um, it's coming out at the end of October, I think. But um, Victor, the man behind the company, so very kindly sent me the sample. Oh god, I, I really like this one. <laughs> so let me tell you about what it says, because their fragrances, although based on animals, there's a good story behind each one. So. This one says, High upon the mountain, a group of macaques rest and play, the young mentored by exacting elders. Inside a solemn temple in the ancient mossy forest below, a ceremony takes place. Ah, da, 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 da. A quest for inner meditative harmony? No, it doesn't say that at all. It says, a quest for inner peace. <laughs> it made sense before. Frankincense, oud, and a jasmine tea chant in meditative harmony, their light florals and sweet offerings falling into rhythm with, with sweeping aromas of nature. Uh, nature is the key word for this fragrance. Hold on to that. Observing the macaque's orderly hierarchical society, we can almost see our own hopes mirrored in their eyes. So, the notes. Uh, rah. The top notes are apple, red mandarin, and cedar. I love how their compositions get flipped on their head. You'll find a, a usual bass note in the top and a, a floral in the bass and just like all kinds of stuff going on, which is good. It's contemporary perfumery. I really appreciate it. The heart notes are galbanum, frankincense, jasmine tea, ylang ylang and rosewood. And then the bass notes are cedar moss. Never heard of that before, but sounds interesting. Green tea, white oud and musk. So here's the dude, if you want to see him. I won't show you this finger because I cut it yesterday and it hurts. So what does this smell like? Let me spray it on my arm. I inhale this one like a mofo because I love the smell of it so much. Oof. So I will say this is everything I wanted Panda to be. I feel like this is Panda's sister, but much better. Um, the immediate smell you get from this, and it's glorious, is galbanum. I've always tried to describe galbanum in reviews before. Um, you don't usually find it in such quantities in fragrances. I mean, you do in some, but it's not very often. The only thing that I've smelled that has this much in it is Safari by Ralph Lauren. But galbanum is a really, really naturalistic green note, which I describe as being <clears throat> a little bit vegetal, a little bit like if you crushed a stem of a plant, um, a bit sappy-like. Sap, like sap, not sappy as in <laughs> sap. And a little bit like if you peeled a carrot. I know that sounds strange, but Galbanum has a lot of green beautifulness going on. It's my second favourite green note after fig leaf. And that's what you're hit with straight away. Lots of Galbanum paired together with an, a more greenery type of note from apples. So you've got a crisp, sharp, Apple note along with all of this beautiful greenery from Galbanum, it smells like nature. Again, it feels like a very naturalistic fragrance, which is a lot of theirs have that, and I love that. There's a huge watery lightness that comes out of this fragrance, and that's because it's got tea in it. It's two types of tea, nonetheless. Jasmine tea and green tea, I believe it was. I wouldn't necessarily describe this as being floral. This is all about a watery light greenness um, that has changed my opinion on macaque monkeys. Um, I don't know, I don't know if they steal fruit and things like that, but this one is definitely going somewhere really, really beautiful and 
it would just be so refreshing on a hot day. It feels like it would be a perfect summer fragrance. It's just, it's really, really good. It feels real. I can feel something leafy in there, um, but it doesn't smell like galbanum. It feels like there's an extra leafy thing in there. Maybe it's the tea leaves or something, I don't know, but there's something green, uh, something else green in there besides this green apple kind of thing. Uh, and this beautiful galbanum, like I've mentioned, and I probably will mention again many times. It almost feels like there's basil in here. I don't know why, but you know that lovely green, almost minty feel that basil gives you when you first smell it, or if you, if you rub it in your fingers? I get something like that from it. It's just really beautiful and green, and I, I will say that many times. I can't stress it enough. This one for me doesn't go on a huge journey like some of the other ones have. I mean, Bat took me swooping over hills into a cave and everything. This one is a lot more simplistic but has just as much effect and it's just as much a journey smelling it anyway because it feels so natural. It says there's white oud in here. I'm not sure what that actually is. I'm guessing that it's a probably lighter oud or maybe a more bright oud, but I never feel anything intensely woody or oudy from this at all, because that would have put me off if I'd never smelled it and wanted to blind buy it like a dumbass, because I do make blind buys sometimes, which is really silly. Don't do it. Ouch on my nose advice corner. Don't blind buy. To me, as this dries down, it just kind of it goes, it starts to get a little bit more watery, a little bit more transparent, but not in a bad way. It keeps with the theme of the entire fragrance. It, it just fades out into something fresh, watery, less green and less bodyful, if that's even a word, uh, from when it started. But it's a really nice journey to go on. I really like it. And I'll be passing this sample on to a fellow YouTube reviewer very soon. Peter, that's you, by the way, if you're watching this. Great experience, I really like this one. So thank you Victor again for sending me this. I'm much on my note, click my logo down there to subscribe and I'll see you soon for another review. Goodbye.